Oh, so the other one enlarged what? to fill the gap. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, we had a we have a, a drop out of Mads for the last little bit here, just because she's had some internet issues. Uh, so we're gonna continue without her. So um, the troll has now just responded to uh, uh, Ufgar's response in common with uh, like a very broken what. Um, goblins caused fire because they saw us terrible. They panicked. Uh, roll me a deception, if you would, please. <laughs> Straight this, out the gate with a lie. <laughs> this will go super well with my negative one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did you lie? <laughs> oh, exactly. On, I've been rolling great all night. It's not a fun I'm gonna guess he looks like he doesn't believe me. Um, he, well, I'll check just to make sure. He's not gonna roll lower than one. Uh, I don't know. He um, could roll in that one. Could roll in that. But in checks, in the checks, it doesn't matter. Crits yeah, aren't crits in checks. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not really an actual crit. Yeah, no. Um. Uh, he, he's going to be like, who are you? Why would you know this? Why would um, they use fire? What is going on here? Okay. Real, to be honest, they want to kill us, so we're fighting them, and our friend is an idiot and decided to include you in this. We're sorry. Um, he's gonna just kind of move up right to you, kind of putting the maul down, like just kind of thumping it on the ground, kind of like getting close to you. And you can kind of see like he's coming up with you that that one eye, that kind of like the kind of milky whitened eye as he looks like he actually is seeing something of you as for a second. Stand in there. Hmm. Uh, if it's my turn, I'm gonna move back towards. Sure. <laughs> Off guard. Mm -hmm. gonna... There are no other uh... goblins around right now. I was putting a well, yeah. sort of out of combat. <laughs> that sucks because of my rage. But yeah. anyways, I'm gonna move back. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like we were in, uh, say we were in combat. I'm gonna move back with my sword ready and go. Oh, oh, troll! Are are you also in service to the dreadlord? He's going to kind of finish looking over Ulfgar and go like, huh. I'm not that close. Yeah. <laughs> so. A dwarf, eh? He'll kind of snicker and be like, be glad I don't eat your kind. I am. One of you put out the fire before I lose my patience. Am I right next to the fire since I was by the gate? You could be very easily run over to the fire. All right, that's I'll pour out. my water skin on it. Okay. Yeah. Smother it with whatever we got. Try to, yeah, smother it. Uh, off guard, do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> At least he's <laughs> honest. Uh, uh. Mr. Master, Master, uh, Mr. Master Troll? Norgok. We, uh... Norgok? Norgok. Master Blacksmith. Norgok. Master Blacksmith. Uh, we are here to... We are here to avenge our people and to kill Finger Cutter, right? That's I care name? not. We have no qualms with you. We do not wish to battle you. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Dwarf, it's... if you don't die, I wouldn't mind discussing some of your skills. It's been a while since I've found other creatures that could, well, 
get any decent trade in. Hmm. Well, most of my abilities lie more in this area. And he probably hears the rattling of bones as they get closer to me. Mm-hmm. However, I have been known to uh, make a good drink. It's not good, Cass. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for that wine saying. <laughs> I mean, if you're not opposed to us avenging ourselves and killing the goblins, would you happen to know another way in besides these gates? No. The gates are the only way in. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, Chance. Chance. And I wave. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) We need to get through these gates. I I throw down the uh, last flask as I walk away from the animal tent. Okay. (laughs) Fine. By the way, that's a nice mall. Uh, I use malls occasionally. Um, <clears throat> it's one of my okay. best works. As long as I can continue my work, is all that matters. I'll walk up and just go, I'm sorry if I was overzealous. I just assumed you worked for them. way I do. As long as they allow me to continue my work and provide me with materials, I'll continue to do what they need. I'm a worker. A smith. I'm no soldier. Though if one should be rowdy enough, a few broken bones is the least that they could worry about coming away with. We... Just an idea being thrown out here, but... We do have our own territory where you could set up, and there are a couple other smiths there that would enjoy to learn from you or try to compete with you, as I'm sure they'd fail, but on top of that, there are also dwarves who I believe are planning to move nearby and get ore, stone... Whatever they can find. I'll hold out my great sword, uh, my plus one great sword, mm-hmm. uh, in front of him, and I'll say, "This is the work of our men." Okay. <clears throat> uh, if one of you wants to roll me a persuasion check. <coughs> uh, uh, I guess the okay. other could assist one of you. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm, yeah, I'm not me. I've I had can terrible. Ass- roll. I can assist if you okay. want. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> you actually... I, I built him to be a politician. He has a plus four. <laughs> I wasn't... You actually, you actually should be happy about that role. He'd be like, well, if you survive, come and see me. Thank you, Master Blacksmith. Now we have a, a problem to kill. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to turn and head towards the gate. I'm going to... Do you have any more of those Alchemist Fire or did you use them all? Um, I used two, two... No, I used all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking maybe we could just lob them over the Mm -hmm. the wall. What Um, kind of gate is it? Uh, wooden. Looks to be, like, just, uh, like, kind of, like, doors made of logs kind of things, similar to the walls. If only Sydney was here, she could just put the ball of fire, spear of fire, just right in the middle and just hold it there. (laughs) And it'll eventually catch on fire. (laughs) Uh, <clears throat> we have to get these gates open. I'm gonna try to open them like manually. Just try to push one open. Sure. Uh, I know. I know it's likely to fail, but I'm gonna try. Uh, strength, athletics. What do you want? Give me, give me a strength check. And all the skeletons help. Sure. Strength yeah. advantage. There you go. Okay. Uh, you kind of just push open the uh, gates to a obviously ready battalion of... (laughs) Well, not a battalion. That's not the right word. Squadron. Squadron of goblins, bows drawn, who had been on guard here for a while. 
that will let loose as you open the gates onto you. Yeah, I'm gonna be standing to the side. Mm -hmm. Has it been a minute? No, it's been around. Yeah. I lost my rage. Yeah. All right. Uh, so there are six goblins in here. Uh, it looks like they've been at alert and ready for something to try to get through the gates. I mean, do they have disadvantage because they were holding the bow, you know, and their hands are like all shaky and, you know, you love me? <clears throat> I don't love you that much. <laughs> not enough to not prevent six arrows from coming towards you. Uh, 17. So he doesn't love you at all. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it looks it's, like it's only... literally the, the least amount of love you can have for somebody to it not do like, a believe thing. It looks like only two shall strike you, though. All right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, uh, so let's just roll this. This, uh, wow, <laughs> six damage, pretty minimal. <coughs> I mean, I guess that's the best I can ask for. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, initiative, because I'm gonna go at him. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, do you want to re-roll it or do the same? Uh, let's re-roll since there was a kind of split between combats here. All right. Ugh. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me reorder this. Oh, it didn't, uh... Oh, it's okay, though. I think I'm dead last. 15. So. Oh. Okay. And Signy and... Yeah. Am but I here? They're not here. So yeah. I don't have to worry about them. Need to so... be first. They are first. Uh, the same six will once again unleash the fury upon you. Uh, um, it looks like they're going to all move into sort of like little cover areas of various barrels and crates that are in the area and uh, try to sniper you from those locations. Bitches. Yep. Okay. Uh, three will hit and one will be a critical. Okay, three will hit, and one of the three is a critical, or three yes. plus one? Uh, three total hits. Uh, so it'll be... God. So it'll be three, eight, and the critical will be four. Three. Well, at least that's good. The amount of ones eight. I've been rolling on damage is really what's keeping you through all this. Now... I mean... It's just attrition at this point. They're yes. just going to dwindle me down. Yeah. Um, uh, now, from the other tower... Uh, a couple of shots will ring out as you will see, like, popping up from the other tower is a, is a group of three swaying goblins. They're, They're drunk. drunk. They're drunk. Yep, they are quite drunk. They've been drinking up there on duty. <laughs> so, yep. But they're still going to try to shoot at you. Yeah. Uh, they're still going to hit, too, watch. Uh... Let's they sway into each other to correct no, their anger. No, and no. Uh, actually, the the one of them would have gotten close, but did not. He rolled a 16 on his lower rage. attack. My rage on. They're like, thwunk. So, like, a couple of arrows, like, just kind of like, they're just, like, a little too drunk to hit you with arrows. But it looks like mm -hmm. you're all right there in the front and center. They're just raining death upon so, you. So, guys, just so you guys realize, these arrows are, like, in me. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then on the ground there's like 12 arrows around me there's just like, <laughs> just there's just the like this like barrage of arrows just lying down upon him and the, like there's like the ones that are missing are like bouncing off of you or hitting into the gate behind you that's kind of like been, or the gates that have been pushed open you know which are the only things yeah. that I guess are keeping you kind of like from getting totally pin cushioned calm down Boromir <laughs> Ulfgar you're up uh, how close are the ones who were behind the gate? Uh, I would say they're spread out in the area there, but they're like 30 foot from the gate, and you guys are like right at the gate. It's like a courtyard beyond here. Uh, well, you said they all like ducked into a little cubby. Yeah, there's like there was like some crates different covers that are like kind of spread out, like uh, like almost like some things are stored out here in the courtyard, uh, and they so... kind of took cover behind that. They are 30 feet away. Mm -hmm. I can move 25. If I was in the center of them, mm -hmm. like, how far away would the farthest one be? Uh, you definitely wouldn't get the ones in the tower, but you'd get all the rest of them. Uh, the 
do it. Do like, it. Do it. it. Yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do? Like, I don't know, Thunder Wave or something like that? No. I, as I'm walking forward, I'm casting Spirit Guardians. Oh, oh. that's pretty good, too. Yeah. Uh, do you get to pick, or do I have to roll? I, I get to pick who. So, okay. as he's walking forward, he's just kind of walking casually, and spirits start to rise around him. They look like banshees and ghosts, mm -hmm. but with mm -hmm. weapons. Maybe you've seen someone of them before, because they're Is all... Slinky? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're still back there. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> But yeah, I, I just walk into the center of them and they all have to make a wisdom saving throw or take 20 damage. Okay. Uh, uh, and it would take... Oh, it takes half damage? If they succeed. Oh yeah, they're all dead. They're goblins. All the ones all the ones that are in here... Are just, they just so die. you just walk forward and kill them all? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that was good. Yeah, you totally fuck them up. Like, <laughs> um, all right. And there is a keep in the building, right? Uh, the fort. The, the, there's okay. Well, there's the other tower, which has the three drunk goblins in it, uh, and then there is like the entire back end of the fort is a building. So like, there's a building in front mm -hmm. of you. So it's like I uh, threw on my javelin, so I can't yeah. do anything. Like, so I would say like two thirds of this area is indoors, uh, uh, inside the walls. Basically, the towers are like at the small um, courtyard area. They're right next to it. So if you like had uh, climbed the walls anywhere else, you'd be on rooftop kind of thing. Uh, Zach, if I roll below ten on this, yes, you would see the king. <laughs> Out of a thousand? I've <laughs> talked to a lot of dead people. Okay. Alright, <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to head towards the entrance to the fort. I'm going to look at Chance because it's my... Are we still in initiative? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the three, yeah. yeah. you got three I drunk can, goblins, I, by the I, I, Well, how close are they? Um, to me. Because I'm right at the well, gate. Well, you were at the gates. They're like like 30 feet away. But they're like up right, in if, the towers. You know, kind when, of thing. If I head forward towards the uh, the front of the keep, will I get t within 20 feet of them? Um, like, am I going to pass them, or are they still going to be further than 20 feet? They'll be further away if you head towards the door, like the actual... All right, like, I'm going to head towards the door, and I'm going to use my uh, action to dash, okay. and I'm going to yell back to Chance, Chance, take care of them, I don't have anything left, uh, as I run towards, towards the keep. Okay. 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 Uh, let's go to chance. And crossbow. Is that one still up? Uh, no, he is dead. Next one. Because I get yep. two. Uh, oh, he is still up. You know what? I'm going to use my... Don't do it. Act... No? We're going to keep, dude. Yeah, true. Never mind. They had to I'll be done for right now. <laughs> what were you going to use? I'm sorry. That's about a gaming. I shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. Action surge. I could have tried to... Ah, okay. Okay. Um, top of the order is the drunk dudes. They are going to fire at chance, I guess. Uh, sure. What's your AC? Fifteen. They could hit if they roll well. Um, no. Wow. wow. <laughs> well, you, you they are drunk. drunk. I know, but it's like each time they've managed to miss one of you by one. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's like last time they got a sixteen, and you've got a seventeen, and this time like it goes right between a, my legs. You got a fourteen. Whoa! And you have a fifteen. Yes. So, yeah, okay. Uh, Ulfgar. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm going to dash into the fort. Okay. 
to running up to where Chance is. No. Yeah. Oh, Zach is. I'm farther oh, in. Oh, yeah. Zach is. I'm also farther in, if I can. The doors don't open. Yeah. We haven't opened the doors yet. Yeah. And, and I have 40 feet of movement. Yeah. So I went 80 feet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the barbarian gets an increase in speed. Yeah, you, are, you are up at the doors. Um, uh, Zach did not need the entire amount of his speed to get up to the door. So let me put it that way. Um... Zach, there's doors in front of you. Um, we forgot my skeletons. Yes. Oh, they can shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just roll some attacks for them real quick? Sure. They better not kill all of them. Why? I you failed. I mean, you did kill one and injure the other. I know, but he just killed an entire like squadron by just walking. <laughs> I mean, magic users are pretty. Uh, does 15, 16, 22, and 20. How yeah. many of those hit? Uh, the lowest was the 15. They the will all hit. hit. They're dead. Probably. <sighs> um, <clears throat> the answer is One yes. More. All right. <laughs> Wait. Um, I'm gonna look at the uh, at Ulfgar. It does take most of those shots to kill them, though. Okay. Y'all didn't know he was fit for battle. <laughs> Suck. Dude, when you have a guy that just carries dead people around, he's fit for battle. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at the master dwarf. I'm gonna say, "Do you have anything for this, or is this strong arm?" As I look at the door. Hmm. That's me looking. Uh, no. All right, I'm going to strong arm. I'm going to throw my way into the door uh, to see if I can bust it open. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get attacked again. Strength check. My strength's not. All right. Nah. 20. Oh. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so you bash into this wooden door, which has actually been barred. It was mm -hmm. barred when the alarm was sounded, but you managed to bash into it in such a way that it ba that it cracks open, revealing okay. the room inside. This place looks like maybe a combination of a meeting hall or maybe a throne room of some kind. Um, there's tapestries that hang here that seem to represent different races. Um, you've seen tapestries like this before. They seem to be linked to groups within the Dread Army. Very few of them are in any kind of good condition here. Uh, there is a kind of basic throne, maybe, in the back of the area, set for a medium creature. Um, but the entire area here is kind of scattered with dirt and refuse. The room is actually finely well-crafted, though, even with all like the, gra the junk that's kind of around here. But in this room, there are a dozen goblins mm. led by a goblin riding a large white wolf okay is that where we're ending for the night we're gonna end there we're... yeah <laughs> so i bash down the door are we gonna start a new initiative next time we'll start a new initiative with finger cutter riding his white uh his winter wolf and his goblin army well his goblin squadron assisting him spread throughout this large room how many are Guys. there a dozen yeah sydney would be really great in this how room. big is i would room? be very useful right now too if i could get if i could go early enough that people aren't around because i still have my um bursting arrow no you used it no it only activates if it actually hits advantage to arcade archer or or the version of it that we're using <laughs> Arcade crossbowman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, immediately after the arrow hits though. the creature. Me just look at the look at Ulfgar and go, Do you have anything for this? And he just like, No. And I'm just like, Alright. <laughs> <Just, laughs> into the, while the, the his right behind him, his skeletons are just picking off the goblins. I do kinda wish I would have kept the seeking arrow because I could have had a sure shot on the leader. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna try to dismount him. Or the leader's mount. His mount is mean too. Both him and his mount. No, are mean. no, I'm sure his mount is probably meaner than he is. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna try to dismount him. Uh, no, I'll just. He is higher CR than his mount. I'll just run around the room and get the goblins. His mount is pretty mean because You're it's a starting. winter wolf, but it's still he is he is worse. How big is the room, by the way? Uh, it's like a massive hall. Um, I will have to get you the exact ten dimensions. feet by a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> really long, guys. We're gonna spend like a day walking. <laughs> it's probably like thirty. Oh, geez. it's probably like thirty feet wide. Uh, because it's taking up a. Because I think we said it was like um twenty twenty like ten twenty. Was another ten, so it's like the building itself was approximately. Um, doing some quick math here because my brain, you know, late night. Thirty um, feet wide. How long? No, more than thirty feet wide. It was twenty, twenty, ten, oh, ten, ten. It's actually seventy feet wide, like from uh, east west, but it's much longer north south. Um, you went through the courtyard here, which was about fifty feet. So I would say this room is about. Um, 60, 70 feet back. You hurt me when you explain how your brain works. It, right? it doesn't work very well sometimes. Um, <laughs> the way you described that room was but, super difficult. Okay, so wait, is it 30 feet wide and 70 long? Or is it because you said yes, then no, then... Oh, I was calculating the size of the entire fortress, sorry. That's what I was I'm, doing. Which he wants another room so he could just walk down the I side. know, but That's I was using wants. that because I, I needed to calculate that in my brain so that I could calculate this room. Yeah. That's so what, what I was is saying. this room? Um, this room would be 40 by 70. 40 wide, 40 long. 40 wide, 70 by long. By 70 long. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's and... important to put those in there. And finger cutters just... in the back towards the like throne on his seventy mount. man that's pretty far. Yes, it does take up the majority of this building. I will tell you okay. this big meeting room. There are a bunch I'm of doors of off of here. Um, it looks like uh, some of the goblins are using <coughs> their, like, a couple of the open doors as cover. Uh, there's some like pillars that help sped up the room that some of them are behind. And there's like a group of them that are like five of them that are like out in the open, kind of close to you guys. Looking if you can, can you try them. to make a map for this? So I will try to make a map for this one. Please, I'll try yeah. to put together a basic map for this one. This one is yeah. the one I can... even if, even if it's just like a square, you know. Yes. On a grid, this is one it, that we know? will probably need it. <laughs> yeah, because you're talking about twelve goblins plus the dire wolf plus the the, the chieftain, right? It or is a winter wolf winter. technically, so it has breath weapon. Okay. Mm. It is worse. I, I, mean, I think we could actually talk psychic, about the so rest of this uh, off stream. <laughs> yeah, we can we can figure it out, and I can put no. this together next time. I, I should be able to put it together for you guys to check out. Then, yeah, it'd be nice to have Sydney for this. Yes, <laughs> so uh, since, guys, she hasn't used her spells because she wasn't here. So, Josh, well, even when she was, it who was are like, you, and where can we find you? Yes, please. I'm me. nobody. Uh -huh. I'm here. And uh, you can't find me because I am a secret in a top secret um, bunker under the White House. <gasps> oh, damn it. Uh, Tiv. We'll go Tiv. Uh, eventually I'll get back to streaming once my body adjusts to full time. Mm -hmm. uh, until then, this is the only place I'm at on a stream at this moment. Yes. This is the only place I'm at. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Joe. And you'll find me here. I'll be here on Saturday for a discussion tabletop. Mm -hmm. Most likely Sunday evening for some more tabletop gaming. Yep. And then back here on Thursday. Yep, and that's kind of my most schedule. If you want to see me here, I'm pretty much here daily. Uh, unless something's coming up with family or getting busy. Uh, I'm definitely here for Madness Land, 9 p.m. every Thursday. Uh, 2 p.m. for Legacies of Cain on Tuesdays, uh, and then of course discussing tabletop, Sunday's tabletop on the weekend, and uh, tomorrow 
I theoretically, as long as everything goes right, the family should be doing uh, finish, getting close to that finish up of my time in Porsche because you know I'm like right at the end of the game. game. So, um, all the normal links below, you know, top right, everything like that. Please check it out. Give you show your support how you can, and uh, I will see, and we will see everyone here next week. Yes. Bye, Bye everyone. So I'm wondering.